a relatively recent one that I read because, or wrote rather, because I was listening to A and W commercials on television and the song inspired the poem. So it goes like this. I'm going to stand up actually. <clears throat> Cupid, draw back your bow and let your arrow go straight to my lover's heart for me. Ignorance is truly bliss amongst the rich about the poor, sipping on some cafe lattes while the people in are poor, screaming to catch the world's attention, set of bullets to the brain. The people of Kashmir, Afghanistan, and Iraq can feel their pain. Paramilitaries and government troops overtly fanning out to intimidate the citizens who wend the myth of grants and clout to whichever faction controls the drug trade, whether opium, oil, or glow. Hack and shoot any dissenters hot to bring the warlords low. Whether we're talking about child soldiers or those trapped in the Kiladoras, we're just thankful for the coffee, diamonds, and goods they're making for us. While the people we empower pass legislation we can parse, turning crucial UN resolutions into a bloody farce. So go ahead and call us liberal bleeding hearts, but our hands will never be smeared like their Macbeth stained parts. It's at the juncture where love ends and hate starts, where we make our stand for peace in our trenches and ramparts. I'll get to rob for peace focused demonstrations across our principalities, territories, and nations. Load up your quivers for hatred's elimination. Time for some action, need your participation. It makes our militant button fighting for peace. So pay attention to this poetry, my verbal release. And if you think about it, there ain't no other way to go than to make like Sam Cook and draw back your bow. Cupid, please hear my cry and let your arrow fly straight to my lover's heart for me. People in the Balkans trying to assert their sovereignty when their opponents came to storm the American embassy. Independence for Kosovo voted democratically, but the Serbians ain't hearing it. It simply cannot be. Anybody want more war by the Adriatic Sea? Or a reprise of the cleansings based on white ethnicity? Because it's not just black people committing mass atrocity that's based on power and vengeance and war philosophy. So don't tell me that it's Africa that's the problem across the board when it is Israel building walls like the Germans have a war since 89. And when it crumbled and these Berliners wept and danced, did they dream of a repeat of their oppressive circumstance? Mm -hmm. Nah, some of them died so they could give freedom a chance. We ignite shattered lives and hope the lessons would advance the global view on what divides us so we could hope for better things. But our amnesia and our apathy, just look at what that brings. I'll get you robbed with these focused demonstrations across our principalities, territories, and nations. Load up your quivers for hatred's elimination. Time for some action, leaving your participation. It makes our militant button fighting for peace. So pay attention to this poetry, my verbal release. And if you think about it, there ain't no other way to go than to make like Sam Cooke and draw back your bow. So, Cupid, draw back your bow and let peace arrows flow straight through warmongers' hearts for me. And everybody like me, Cupid, please hear our cry and let those arrows fly straight through those hate-filled hearts for all of me.